This is USVI News, your Virgin Islands connection. Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining us for USVI News. I'm Emily Matson. A suspect wanted for attempted murder in the state of California is nabbed this week on St. Croix. There has been an arrest warrant out for 30-year-old Leslie Rogers since April, and on Tuesday, officers arrested him in a state diamond in Frederickstead without incident. He's charged with attempted murder and possession of a firearm by a felon. His arrest was a collaborative effort between various law enforcement agencies, including several VIPD departments, the DEA, and U.S. Marshals. Rogers is now in prison on St. Croix and will eventually be extradited to Sacramento, California to face the charges against him. The Humane Society of St. Thomas is in quite the jam. It has far exceeded its shelter capacity to humanely care for homeless animals. As a result, it has stopped taking in surrendered animals. The shelter is intended to care for 40 dogs and 70 cats, but it's now caring for more than 150 dogs and 150 cats. They are in desperate need for people to adopt, giving needy animals a home for the holidays, or at least foster a pet for the time being. I caught up with the president of the Humane Society's board of directors to find out just how dire the situation is, how you can help, and to learn more about a benefit this weekend. We were built for to humanely home 70 cats and 40 dogs. And on any given day, we have almost 300. So you can imagine how difficult that is. And um, we never really wanted to get anything as drastic as closing the doors. But we figured that we got to try to be able to manage what we have in a humane manner. Our capacity to care is important. It's stressful not only to the animals, but to the staff. Um, you cannot take care. I mean, you cannot go beyond your capacity. And this is what we have been doing month after month after month. You know, trying to bring everything in is not always the answer. And we ask the community to try to foster them um, so that they don't have to end up in a crate at the shelter. And a lot of times they don't have to. Talk about that, how important it is to spay and neuter. It's, it's a real problem in the territory. Yes, because um, right now there's actually no excuse for not spaying and neutering your, your animal because we have free vouchers. Thanks to Kim Angel's Fund Foundation, individual donors and government assistants were able to provide this vouchers free of charge. So people can make an appointment with a local veterinarian and um, take them in and get them done. Don't have any more litters because we cannot afford them. And most people cannot afford more, more pets. Let's talk about the holiday fundraiser on Sunday. Oh my God, that's really exciting. Um, we have, you know, the community always pitches in and, and helps us, which is so, so amazing. So how does this work? You get, you go online, you go to humanesocietystthomas.org and you get a, a ticket. It's $10 and that gives you a chance at one of these wonderful uh, gifts and you know they're valued at 500 and a thousand and more for example we have a, a buccaneer hotel stay for two thousand dollars worth so imagine if you're the winner of that one it's a kind of like a fun way to raise money and the nice thing about it is that it's going to be live on facebook at 5 30 on sunday so if you have the time come and join us because Bring your kids, by the way, because we have wonderful candy apples and popcorn and, and baked goods. And for the adults, we have an open bar, too. So they can have fun. And the ladies can do some shopping because we're going to be open at our mob mobile um, thrift store. Most importantly, out of all this you know, celebration for the holidays and picking out the raffle winners, is that we really want you to go home with a pet. Maybe you already have two cats. Oh, no, I cannot get one more. You know what? I always say that cats are like potato chips. You can never have just one. <laughs> if they're so adorable, they don't take a lot of space. And, you know, most, most landlords should allow cats. I really urge the people to consider it. And if they've never had an animal before, um, don't be afraid. Come and foster one because you may love it. <laughs> you know, they're loving. They're, they're always there for you. And they love you unconditionally. What else can we wish for? The message, I guess, is to spare and neuter your pet. And if you have questions about that, like I said, call me, call the shelter, 
we're always there, you know, to assist you. And we ask their help at this point. Uh, if they can foster an animal, please do. If you can adopt an animal, come out. We're close to intake, meaning that we don't want you to bring your pet to us right now if you no longer can take care of it. But we're going to be still open for um, adoptions, for emergencies. We're there. And come join us on Sunday. We waived all the adoption fees, which is, again, huge because all the animals are microchipped and they're vaccinated and they're spayed and neutered, which is the best. So yeah. you get a great pet and you have a family companion and you know you saved a life and you know that you'll have a great holiday. A lot of adorable dogs up for adoption that need a home for the holidays. And they are also asking for volunteers at the Humane Society of St. Thomas to spend an hour or however long walking a dog. Perhaps students who need community service hours can lend a hand. Again, the holiday benefit is this Sunday, December 11th, from 3 to 6 in at the Humane Society campus. It's a tree lighting event with Santa, treats for kids, and again, an open bar. And all adoption fees, again, are going to be waived. You still have time to pay $10 each for a chance to win a bunch of quality gift certificates. You can visit their website to do so. Despite fears of a global recession, the airline industry is expected to turn a profit in 2023 for the first time in four years. A forecast by the International Air Transport Association predicts airlines will earn a net profit of $4.7 billion. Net losses this year are expected to be $6.9 billion. The last time the industry made money was 2019, before the pandemic pushed demand way down. Demand, though, has since increased with the reopening of borders closed by the pandemic and a strong U.S. dollar has encouraged more Americans to travel overseas. Corporate travel has also been making a comeback. However, certain challenges remain, including delayed plane deliveries, pilot shortages and airport infrastructure issues as well. Meantime, airlines, hotels, and credit cards offer loyalty and reward programs where travelers can earn points. The travel site, The Point Sky, says some are better than others and is out with its annual winners. Elise Preston has a look. Whether you're looking for a flight or booking a room, Brian Kelly and Nikki Kelvin from The Point Sky tell CBS Mornings some brands have better loyalty programs than others. Among airlines, Delta earns the top spot for perks like the ability to use points on partner airlines, miles that never expire, and free ticket changes on most domestic flights. Most airlines might give you a voucher when you wanted to cancel during the pandemic. Delta went a step further in so many cases, they'd actually give you your money back. Marriott Bonvoy is the top choice for hotel loyalty programs, and selection is a major reason why. The company offers 30 different brands with locations all over the world. They have everything from the really fun, smaller brands to the big, swanky ones. The Points Guy says people looking to earn travel rewards on their credit card should go with the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card. Users can earn extra points when paying for travel or dining, and there are extra protections. Chase actually has flight delay and cancellation coverage, so as long as you use that Sapphire card to pay for your flight, even if the airline doesn't cover your hotel, if you get stranded, your credit card will. Brian Kelly says that could come in handy during the upcoming holiday travel rush, which is always unpredictable. And good news for anyone driving this holiday season, gas prices should continue to come down. Oil prices hit their lowest level of the year Tuesday, falling to just over $74 a barrel. That's 43% down from their peak of more than $130 a barrel back in March. The drop comes even as the European Union and the West implemented new restrictions on oil from Russia. Prices at the pump have dropped an average of 42 cents during the past month. As you shop this holiday season, a reminder from the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, make sure the gifts and toys you are buying are safe for those who you're giving them to. Here's more on how to make sure your presents don't pose a danger. It's the season for giving, but the wrong gift can be dangerous. 
We want you to have a safe holiday season and not end up in the emergency room. The latest report from the Consumer Product Safety Commission found there were more than 152,000 toy-related ER-treated injuries to children younger than 15 years old last year. The injuries included lacerations, contusions, and abrasions to the child's face and head. There were also two deaths. Uh, fatalities were associated with choking on a small part and also suffocating on a plush toy that was added to an unsafe sleep environment. The report shows non-motorized scooters continued to be the category of toy which led to the most injuries in children under 15. If you choose a riding toy such as a scooter, bicycle, skateboard, be sure to also include the safety gear that goes along with it. That includes a well-fitting helmet and other pads. When it comes to children under three, keep small balls and toys with small parts as well as button batteries out of reach. Instead, choose age-appropriate toys. It's so important that you choose age-appropriate toys. The best way to do that is to look at the age labeling on the product packaging and use that as a guide. Once the gifts are open, also be sure to discard any plastic wrappings or packaging on toys so young children don't play with them. One hidden danger for younger children is deflated balloons. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission says to keep them away from younger children, any children younger than eight, as they can pose a suffocation danger if ingested.